My name is Will McKenzie, and I remember the day the long dark came. I was flying a mission as a bush pilot, far to the north, and that's when I saw the aurora in the sky, bright and beautiful. But at the same time, my plane died, and down we went, landing in the savage but beautiful northern wilderness. And this is my story. This is how I died. <laughs> Welcome, folks, to The Long Dark by Hinterland Studio. This is a pre-alpha version given to me by Hinterland Studio in order to share with you guys. Let's hop in and let's see what happens to our good friend, Will McKenzie. All right, guys, here we are in the long dark. This is where I had left off last night in my, my current playthrough. I'm in an old abandoned uh, dam and I have survived so far one day, 18 hours and three minutes. Time is compressed here. So this is not real time, it's game time. You can see every minute pass is what? Maybe five seconds in real time. My calories are slowly depleting even as I stand here chatting with you and my condition is I need going some to- water. I know you do, Willie, hang on. And my condition is going to rapidly decline standing here talking as well. So there's no time to waste. I'm gonna get my, my lantern out here which I found in this, um, in this dam, and we're gonna get a move on. I should probably light that, yeah. You see, it doesn't just magically happen, you actually have to do something with it. I'm gonna pick up my bedroll, and say goodbye to this fire barrel. Saved my life last night. I was able to get a fire started there. I cooked up some venison I had picked up off the ground, a little roadkill, and uh, even melted some snow on it, and I boiled that water from the snow to kill any potential parasites and bacteria. It was quite an amazing thing. All right, here we go up to the second floor. I've already explored the, the bottom floor and I think I've found everything down there. But I got here late last night and I think I may have missed some things. Oh, nice. I guess I missed a lantern. Um, I think I went through all these drawers. I'm already encumbered. Oh, I missed a drawer. Whew. See, when you're panicking in a survival scenario, you tend to miss things. You're not thinking clearly, particularly when you're dehydrated. Uh, let's see, how am I doing anyway? Not too good. Uh, I'm very thirsty, I'm, I'm super hungry, and I'm weak. Thank you for reminding me, Willie. And I'm not too cold or fatigued because it's kind of warm in here, actually. I'm assuming my lantern creates a little bit of heat for me. Um, so yeah, I'm in dire situation here. Oh, crowbar, snag it. And you gotta keep moving in this game. So, here's some cabinets. Oh, perfect! You need paper to start fires. Tinder is probably the most important ingredient in the game, as far as I can tell. This is my first playthrough, by the way, and I want to show you guys how it starts. You don't start in an abandoned um, in an abandoned dam with all the goodies I have right now. I actually had to scavenge all this stuff. So, as I had mentioned, the, the whole premise behind this game is uh, you're, you're Willie McKenzie. A bush pilot, right? And there's some sort of geomagnetic event that happens, and Willie goes down with the plane. Uh, well, I guess the geomatic, the geomatic, geomagnetic uh, thingamajigger. I'm not a science guy. Oh, hold on, that's loud. This is nice. Look at that. That was convenient. Um, matches causes all electronics in the world to go poof. Just kills them all. Hang on, this is really loud, I'm sorry. But my life may depend on it. Um, so the plane goes down and the whole world is plummeted into this sort of dark age. And now you have to survive. So Willie is up here in the north, which doesn't make it any easier now, does it? With all the snow and the cold and the scarcity of food. You will, Willie, just hold on, buddy. I'm glad I have Willie here to talk to keeps me sane. As dehydration and hypothermia set in, you tend to talk to each other. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This is all to just simulate the time it might take to open a locker, right? I mean, it might take a few minutes to get a locker open. Again, the time is compressed, so every minute in this game is about five seconds of real time. Um, oh man, calories at zero. Let's shut this thing off. I don't really need it anymore. I think we're done here. Let's get outside. 
You go away. I don't want to light that again. There we go. Let's go outside and get some food. Okay, we're outside. Now, as I was saying, there's all sorts of things that can kill you in this game. Starvation is one, obviously. Um, dehydration. You can actually contract diseases. You can get dysentery. And I'm not sure if that's actually in the game right now. It is a pre-alpha. There's a carcass. I think that's the one I cleaned out last night. Um, so these are things you have to keep a track of, or at least be cognizant of the fact that you may that you probably don't want to eat like say raw meat i'm gonna drop the extra hatchet because it's heavy um if you can avoid it of course if your life is depending on it you're going to eat anything right <sighs> and the same with water so i was i ended up boiling some water so that i could kill any potential parasites um so i'm in pretty good shape i think i actually have a bottle with me i did that just before bed oh yeah you know what let's do that so at least i'm not dehydrating I think that's probably contributing to my poor condition here. There, excellent. Now I just need some chow. Oh dear! What time is it? Oh no, is this a storm? Oh dear, lord. Not what I needed. Let's get my hunting rifle out. I found this inside the dam. Oh, is this a new event? What time is it? Oh, it's... God, it's dark! So the weather is sort of random. As is your start. When you start the game out, you start on this... It is a fixed map, by the way. Um, the sandbox mode right now, so all the locations are static, but your location where you begin is randomized. Um, I'm not really sure what else is out there. Again, this is my first game. I gotta kill this guy fast. Can you eat trees? No, but you can eat... Oh, I got him. You can eat deer, I'm sure of that. Actually, you can eat trees, Willie, but only as a last resort. Now, there are wolves here, and the wolves are fairly aggressive. <laughs> wow, is it dark, even though it's broad... Daylight. I guess it's not broad daylight if it's dark, but it is daytime. Fires feel numb. They do. Here's what we're gonna do, Willie. Um, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Let's tr oh, let's start a fire. Let's see if we can get a fire going out here in the woods. Can I put this down here? I've never done this yet. We're gonna try some of this. Oh man, I don't have much wood. Let's see. Let's test my Wait. fire. Starting capability. I'm so cold. I'm Hold on, Willie. Up again. <laughs> That's not a good sign, buddy. I think we can do it. Oh, we did it. Yeah. Okay. Let's cook up this meat. Oh, this is lovely. Now, see here, we can collect snow and we can boil it. Oh, baby. Let's cook up that other piece. Now, you can see the time is being simulated here. The estimated fire duration is 50 minutes, going down kind of rapidly. Just saying, hey, you know, it might take this long to cook this food. Um, now, let's get that chow out, and let's eat one. Oh, I think this fire will probably give the wolves away as well. There we go, excellent. Now, I'm still freezing, even though I'm near this fire, but I think I'm warming up. Calories are up, looking good. I'm just going to eat that other piece. It, it doesn't make sense hanging on to it and being encumbered by it, so we're going to get a couple thousand calories. That's a good... That's about right for average adult male. So, um, I'm so tired, though. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go, Carcass. We'll see ya. I can't stay here. Um, oh, jeez. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, let's melt some snow. Let's get a liter of snow. That way I'll have something to drink on the road. So, again, you don't have to go out and actually, um... Uh-oh, uh -oh, I hope enough. Oh, jeez, let's boil it. Time to boil that water. Yeah, you don't have to go out and actually collect the snow. It's all done for you instantly. Yes! Got it just in time. Ah, oh, that was nice. So tired. Uh-oh. That's a wolf. Stay away, wolf! Uh-oh. Down to three rounds. I'm exhausted. Oh, I don't want to sleep out here. This is not a very good shelter. I think I'm going to grab... Oh, I can't move like this. This is way too slow. I could get I could go back inside. Let's go back inside and sleep by the fire. But I'm going to have to collect some wood. I'm going to have to collect some wood. And again, this is one of those things that is kind of abstracted for me. I don't actually have to do it myself. Oh, I'm never going to make it. What am I carrying that's so dang heavy? Oh, uh, shoot. I don't know. An extra jacket, bedroll. I gotta get inside and, and sleep. And I'm cold. 
All right, let's get inside quickly. I haven't slept outside yet. I don't know what what would happen if I try. But I'd rather do I'd rather do it indoors. The calories are dropping rapidly, but I've got some extra food. And I've got some water. I think I can get my condition back up again. I was down to 30% at one point and I ate and I slept and I got warm and it went back up to in the 70s. And that's sort of the challenge of this game is getting through each and every day by balancing all these things. Your rest, uh, food, um, you know, thirst, and warmth, of course. And if you get injured, you have to take care of those injuries as well. You just got to get in. 21 degrees Celsius. I'm a Fahrenheit person here in America, so I think it's, what, a 60 degree difference or something like that for me. So if I add... Uh, it's all right. Hang on. I think that's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is cool. That's cold. It's not freezing weather, though. And I've slept outdoors and a lot colder than that. We should be okay once we get in here. Here we go. We're going to get inside and put down this bag and maybe get a couple of hours of sleep and then collect some wood. I think we're warm enough in here where we can do that. Let's put it down the bedroll. Uh, is that a tool? Bedroll. Nope. There it is. Okay, let's let's place it down right here. I don't have a fire here. Is that better? I hope I don't shoot it. Let's just sleep for a couple of hours. It's going to burn a few calories, but I... Egaz, what did I do? There we go. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. So cold. Okay, just take gonna it. lay down for a bit. Uh oh. No, Willy. That's bad. All right, guys. I think it's time to get rolling. I'm still fatigued because I'm just not comfortable enough to, to get a good night's sleep. So I think I'm just gonna drink up this water. And I don't have any food other than the raw stuff, so I think, uh... I think my stomach is eating itself. I know it is. And it hurts. I think our, our priority is to get some food. I'm tempted to eat this thing raw, but that might cause more problems. So let's just go ahead and drop some stuff and then get the heck out of here. Maybe we can find another location, um, nearby where we can, uh, find some food and water and all that jazz. So let's see what we can drop. Carrying all this stuff, I don't think I need it. That's really light. We'll hang on to that. Uh, let's drop the jerry can. It's really heavy. And what else? But all this time that's passing right now as I go through this is extremely frustrating. But I guess I don't really have much choice. I'm going to drop one of these lanterns. It's 1.2 kilograms. Okay. So now I think we might be able to move a little faster. Goodbye stuff. Okay, we're outdoors, and it is getting dark. So I think what I want to do is make for the tracks and see how far we can get along those tracks. And hopefully, we can find some sort of uh, structure. Um, I know there are logging camps around. Um, I think I know there's a ranger station, which I've already been to, but that's pretty far. I haven't been down these tracks yet. But there's got to be some kind of man-made structure. And maybe we can hole up there for the night. Potentially find some food and some water and maybe some uh, fire starting materials. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see how far I can go. I'm going to walk along this track and I'll be back if I find anything really interesting. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm still running along the track. I haven't found anything useful yet. There was a deer carcass, but it was empty. So some wolf or someone came by and took all the goodies. Now, uh, apparently, down the road, there will be other survivors added to the game. It's not in the game yet, but if you look at the website, um, but one of the planned features is potentially running into other survivors. Uh, computer controlled, of course. I don't think it's going to be multiplayer. I'm not really sure about that. There's a wolf. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. Maybe if I pull out a flare, they leave me be? Although, maybe I should just shoot him and get his food. Where is he? You know what? Let's just do that. Where, what, 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 what? Here he is. Here he is. Boom! The other ones will run away. 
It looks like he may have killed a deer here. Yes. Awesome. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, a derailment. I didn't see it. It's so dark. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, this could be shelter. For the night. How do I get in? Could be a door. I can't see anything. Let's get some kind of... Let's get a flare out. I'm going to keep those stinking wolves away, too. What do we got here? I have a ladder. Oh, here's a door. Oh, crap. There's no jumping in this game. I can't jump. What's that? Looks like maybe I have to walk on this thingy. A tree. Convenient tree here. Awesome. Oh, guy. Hi. Oh, all right. He didn't quite make it. Oh, man. Beans. What was that? Peaches? Peaches and beans? <laughs> that sounds delicious. I'll eat anything at this point. Give me that, yo. Uh, it's, it's peaches. That's peachy. Well, buddy, you don't need this where you're going. Slurpy slurp. This might even restore some of my hydration. Ugh. Hold on, Will. Oh, another flare. Food or water would be nice. Actually, more food. Oh, man. I wonder if I can light a fire here. Hunger. Um, it's still pretty cold inside this thing. Uh, shucks. I'm still hungry. Should we keep moving? I don't think... Can I light a... Ah! Oh, dang. Don't get stuck. Oh! I'm gonna oh, kill I'm you! I'm gonna... Yes, I, I am! Uh, bastard! Build up strength and hit him! Oh, he killed me! He ate me! I died from blood loss! <laughs> I didn't have my gun out, and apparently he's not afraid of the flares. <laughs> all right, all right! Stop! I'm dead already! Apparently he's chewing me up. Hmm. Well, that was a surprise. Uh, I got a little careless there at the end, and that's something that you obviously need to keep in the forefront of your mind is what might be right around the corner in the dark wilderness of uh, of the north here. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't want to look at watch that anymore, do you? No. Okay. So, again, this is The Long Dark. I'm going to put a link down below to the website. It's into thelongdark.com. You can check it out, and you can actually pre-purchase it right now. The game is going to be out on Steam Early Access in September. But again, you can get it now and, uh, and reserve your key. Um, it will be available for Windows and Mac, but uh, there is no support for Linux currently. But it will be coming down the road, apparently. But, you know, all this is subject to change. Again, this is an Early Access title, so um, what you're hearing right now may not be accurate by the time you watch the video. So again, do your due diligence. I'll put a link down below to the website. Check it out, into thelongdark.com. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.